Hey. What's up? What you got? So I have three out of the five voting proxies for you. But where's the rest of them? What do you mean, where's the rest? Rob, we need all of them. They're not completely sure that you can pull it off just yet. Really? Yeah, really. I mean, you know I'm charismatic. I can get people to do what I want. But just give me a little more time. Rob, we don't have more time. Give me more time. No. When I get this company back, they'll be begging for a seat at my table. I'm gonna make them kiss my ass and my feet. They will. But I have another job for you. What's so. up? I'm gonna book you a flight, arrange for you to stay at the best hotel. I need you to go back down here and. Fallon, I can't. I just need a little time off. I need some time off. Did you say you can? Yeah, I can't do it. Just give me a little time off. Just a little break. I've been on the road week after week. No time off. I have a life. And you have a job. And I have a life. So what do you need? One day? Two? <laughs> Fallon, this is really taking a toll on my relationship. <laughs> and uh, we've already had this discussion. Is it taking a toll on one of them or two of them? You know what? I'm really regretting even telling you that shit in the first place. You and Derek. You know what? Where was Derek when you were in Club Fit? You know, because last time I recall, I paid off your term. Right? I made sure you had money on your books. As a matter of fact, you had so much money on your books, you probably were in there loaning people money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the f what you're not about to do is treat me like some of these fuck boys that you run over. Really? Yes, really. Like I told you time and time again, Fallon, thank you so much. Thank you. You were there when nobody else was. Thank you so much for that. Mm, but you're not I'm about to hold that over my head to get me to do what you want me to do, especially when I don't want to. I'm trying to help you prioritize. That's what you call prioritizing. Yes, because when you were going through all of that, Derek wasn't there. It was me and only me. I didn't see anybody coming to make sure you were okay. Fallon, you are being selfish right now. Hmm. Come on, like, I got you. Just give me some time. That's, that's all I'm asking. All right. All right. You know I respect. And sometimes I could be a little selfish. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry. But seriously, Fallon, you know, if it comes down to it, we can just be friends. I don't right. have to work for you. We can just be friends. Like, yeah. Work for me. You won't have to work. Let me tell you something. You came home from prison with a criminal record, right? And then you got a job working for me. Making good money. There you go. Well, who comes home <laughs> to such a good life? There you go again. Derek will not be able to hold you down and neither will the other one. I'm just telling you. There we go again. I'm just being honest. But... Need a couple of days off? Take a week. But we got shit to do. We have to pull this off. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean to be selfish. Just being honest. Cool? Cool. Fuck boy. <laughs> Fuck boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Selfish. Tell me what's been going on around here lately. Where do I start? It's still hell as usual. And I don't even want to start on Jabril. We're not even going to talk about what he said to me. Oh, Just going to leave that alone. But things are changing. Things are definitely going to change. Okay. So what's going on with you and Clayton? You know I love Clayton. 
But I don't see this going anywhere. I mean, he's good to me, but I don't really see a future. The dick is good. <laughs> it's real good, but I don't see a future with, with him. I mean, can't really trust him. He was paid to fall in love with me the first time. Fuck my daughter. So I don't know. I mean, good dick doesn't come a dime a dozen, so I'm cherishing that. I mean, at this point, why even try? I mean, he deserves a chance, right? And what are you doing this for? The dick. I just told you. It's good. Unless you're going to give me some. You're going to treat me better? <laughs> Wait, I treat you good and I pay you good. All right. <laughs> you know you want this. Always did. How do you think I look today? You look fine, right? You sure? I have not been able to pull it together lately. Just been so tired. I mean, I guess I look cute. You are not even paying attention. All right, I'm sorry. I'm done. She just made it hectic with everything going on, you know? And I also spoke to Fallon about giving me some time off as well, so she approved it. You know, there's no love lost between her and I, but I still wouldn't wish that on anybody. Yeah, I think she's going through the motions. I honestly think they all are. You know, Mason and Brandon included. You know, I seen him before I left, too, by the way. Really? And what did y'all have to talk about? We finally had a real conversation about everything. Like, what exactly? I asked him to stop worrying about his image as much and to just finally keep it with me for once. Is he even capable of that? <laughs> you got jokes. <laughs> nah, but I feel like he's just been avoiding me since I've been home. I called him out on it. I mean, y'all have a lot of history and a lot has happened along the way. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. A lot of time has passed, but there's still some things that needed to be resolved. Like your feelings for him? Yeah. There's always been a part of me that just wondered, what if? You know? That must have been intense. So did something happen between the two of you? <laughs> we didn't have sex. He just apologized for not being there for me. Um, I'll admit, I wanted to kiss him. Maybe you just need closure. Or maybe you just needed a confirmation that he would never love you the way you deserve. Yeah. I guess you can say something like that. But he knew me when I was young and wow, I can't interest <laughs> nobody. But you trusted him. I mean, he earned my trust. I didn't have no parents. I didn't have any guidance until I met Calvin. I mean, I didn't have any friends until I met Brandon. But y'all not fucking kids anymore. I feel like you've been chasing this past for way too long. And he can't possibly be the same person he was all those years ago. I mean, you're right, he's not the same person. And neither am I. And Calvin, he died when I was locked up. And I realized all of those memories that I have with Brandon, they died right along with him. Do you think subconsciously, just possibly, that you're doing all this to get back at me? For this whole situation that I put you in? I mean, obviously you wanted that kiss to lead to a lot more. I'm allowed to be honest, right? That is not some fucking random. That's somebody that she was in love with. 
Unless you always keep running back to him. Isn't Ty here with if? That is not the same fucking thing. See, you are trying to get back at me. It's not the same thing. And you know it. I mean, it's not exactly. But you're still trying to control everything. I mean, I admit, I, mean, I kind of acted on impulse. Listen to me. I'm where I want to be with the person I want to be with. But you wouldn't mind getting in peace, huh? You know what? Don't even think so. Listen. I appreciate you being honest with me. We've been avoiding this conversation for a long time. A real conversation. I mean, I just wish I could explain it to you in a way that you would understand without getting upset and want to fight. I just don't like that he has this hold on me. And I always felt like the history you, t you two share between each other always gave him the upper hand. At least now I don't feel that way. Good, because I'm not going anywhere. We are going somewhere because I want to eat. We going out. <laughs> Why are you always playing with me? Because it's fun. Maybe we should just stay <laughs> Good idea. It's a nice place you guys got here. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually surprised you invited me here. I bet. So, where's your husband? <laughs> You real comfortable, aren't you? Yeah, nice spot. Look, this is the only place I was comfortable with talking to you at. Okay, what's up? So you really don't know? No, what's going on? What you gotta talk to me about? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that Mason was in the house when I was talking to you? What? You gonna play stupid? What the fuck are you talking about? Look, I thought I wanted you back in my life, but I don't have time for no sneaky, flicky ass people. I will cut you off right now. I don't be real with you. I just wanted you out of your life. Who? What do you mean? Jabril, that's who? What? <laughs> okay, I want Dirk out your life. Fuck, that's not even the same thing. What the Ex fuck are you talking about? Exactly. It's not my place or your place to even get in the middle of any of that. Look, you don't even know what the fuck my husband is going through. You don't know what the fuck your husband is going through. You don't even know him. What? You Look, think you know him, but you don't know him as well as you think you do. It's okay. I, I thought this would work, but obviously it's not. Just get out of my house. I'm just trying to be there for you. Go! Don't make a mistake. Look. I'm good. I'm trying to help you. I'm good. Go! So I confronted my mom. Oh, God. How'd that go? Man, she tried to spit so much bullshit in my ear. She finally told me some. A hood dude named Wolf is my dad, who's apparently cousins to the guy who she's been telling me is my father all my life. Wait, they were they were cousins? Yeah, and she claims she don't know where he is. I don't believe that for one second. I don't know. I mean, maybe she's telling the truth. Yeah, her version of the truth, which always turns out to be a lie. So I don't even know what to believe. I get it. When I found out about my birth mom, I was losing it. And all the emotions I was feeling got out of control. I mean, usually I'm able to just put all this into my music. So I went to the studio. And I was so fucking upset I couldn't even focus. Shit be real. 
I mean, at one point, you just got to accept that all the adults in your life made decisions at the time that they thought were right. And that's not your fault. Man, all of them are some pieces of shit. Got me thinking about shit that I swore I would never think about again. Maybe, even though it's uncomfortable, it's time for you to confront it. All of it. For what? The past ain't never did shit but hold me back. Not talking about it is not going to erase it. Nah, fuck them. You the one who said that you wanted to know. Yeah, and I changed my mind. I don't need none of that bullshit fucking up. Nothing I got going on right now. Good morning. Don't find it. Don't speak. You not hurt me. Darn. Guess I gotta try harder tomorrow. If this is what you consider trying, my dear, then you need to do better. <clears throat> Unless you want me to take all your money. Anyway, I talked to Jero. Um, okay. How is he? He's grieving. You know, he's doing the best he can do about grieving. You know about grief. Look, I know you don't want to be considered weak, but look at all the deaths you have encountered in the past few years. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm over Aaron's death. Okay. Maybe. Life does go on, even for people who want to be stuck in the past. Not even just him. What about your cousin and him committing suicide? You were a rat. What? What are you talking about? I didn't care about him dying. I hated him. The whole family did. Good riddance. What's going on here? Here you are, once again, rewriting history. <clears throat> when Chadwick died, you were a rat. Whatever, right? <clears throat> Remember when he passed and... You and you told me that you felt bad because the baron treated him like an outsider and you wish you could start over. Well, that's because I, that's because you didn't treat him like an outsider, and Baron just made sure Chastity and Chad got scraps while the rest of us just stuffed ourselves like fat cats. I was surprised when you told me deep down you wished. You and Chadwick had a brotherly bond. What? Yeah, okay. But you know what I did? Stuck with the family. Kept rejecting them over and over again. Honestly, I can't relate to your cousins. I know how it feels to be rejected by you. And I wish I could have met him because I could have encouraged you guys to fix your bond. Look, I really didn't want that, okay? No one in his family wanted that. We treated them like second-class citizens. And, I mean, I guess I should feel bad, but then again, karma's a bitch. Who's karma? Everyone. There you go, babe. Talk to me, let it out. I'm your husband, I wanna be there for you. Why are you talking to me about all this? Listen. I just want to know. I get it, but I don't need that right now. What's up, y'all? Hey. Ty and I was just having a conversation about some recent news that he learned. From a little bit, I heard it sounds intense. Everything okay? If you don't mind me asking. Nah, you good. Just found out that the person who I thought was my father ain't. My mom's been lying to me this whole time. And at this point, I only want to deal with her. Whoa. That shit's intense. Man, she promised me she was done with this bullshit. You'll never know why until you ask her. Yeah, he's right. At least you have my mother to get answers from. I couldn't ask my mother shit. You should consider talking to her. 
I'm pretty sure she has her reasons. For what? So she can lie to my face again? Y'all don't know my mom. She don't know how to do nothing but run game, and I'm tired of it. Aren't you just a little bit curious? <sighs> Look, the guy who I thought was my dad, I've only seen high. My real dad is some old school dope boy who I don't give a fuck about. Maybe it's more complicated than you realize. You should think about talking to her, get all the answers that you need, and then just go from there. I get it. You're angry. And you have every right to be. Especially considering who it came from. He waited to the perfect opportunity to fuck my head up. Man, fuck all that. You deserve to know the truth. Yeah, but is she gonna tell me? I got so much good shit happening in my life right now. I'm just trying to find ways to fix us. I want my husband back, and I would do anything to make us happy again. <sighs> Look, we can't always get what we want, okay? Trust me. I know that person. To be honest with you, they, besides your nasty attitude towards me these last couple of months, I've been liking you a lot better. The arrogance, the take charge attitude turns me on. I bet it does. I bet I do see more healing. You know why? Because I am all man. The perfect specimen. Yes, you are. And if you would lose the attitude, we could be so much better for each other. And you wouldn't have to look at nobody's like Ian Skyler. Oh, my dear, you're still on that. Come on, it was just some harmless flirtation, okay? But you can't be jealous that someone other than yourself saw me as the ultimate prize that I am. Right, you are. And that's why I want my husband back. <sighs> You know what? <clears throat> Your perseverance is admirable. <laughs> and I do know how it is to want something so bad that you just don't want to give up. So, you know, it might be a chance for us after all. But if you still want to go on with this fixing thing, it's not going to work. Because, you know what? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm not broke. Right. I got to take a page out of your book and take what I want. And with your father's death and Chadwick's, you have changed. And I want to fix it. Look, you can't fix me, okay? No one can. You know what? How about this? We just do this damn divorce and get it over with, okay? Look, you're a nice time to find someone, okay? But you can't keep trying to fix me because it's not going to work, okay? We can just end it and go on about our lives. But you say you don't give up. I don't. Man, fuck all that. You deserve to know the truth. Yeah, but is she going to tell me the truth? It's like I got so many good things happening in my life right now. This is exactly the type of shit that's going to throw me off course. That's why I think you should talk to her. Get all the answers that you need. And then just put all that shit to rest. Trust me, my childhood wasn't nothing nice either. But I had to put all that shit behind me at some point. It will always follow you if you don't try to resolve it. Look, whatever you decide to do, you have more support. Mine too. As far as I'm concerned, my family's sitting next to me. We got you. Well, I also have good news. He may possibly be having a new management team behind him. And also, he's working on his EP. So we were thinking that we should do a vacation. Some of them. I'm quiet. <laughs> you know, I'm with it. Like nothing. <laughs> <I'll be all right. laughs> now that I think about it, you did say you wanted to be more like him. He was a fighter from what you told me, but he ended up taking his own life due to your family forcing him to do so. And I don't want you hurting yourself or anyone else. Look, you don't know what he went through those final moments of his life, okay? And besides that, I didn't know you were such a fan. 
I'm not a fan of no one but God. But after everything you told me, I want you to have more of that. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, he had an element of surprise. I like that. I want you to have more of that. Hmm. Be careful what you wish for. Surprise me. You say I'm born. It's not easy being married to no prick like yourself. Pardon? Look, you're not easy. You act like an ungrateful brat sometimes. And I see why Barry made me the executor. Deep down, he knew you couldn't handle it. Look, I've been being nice sitting here and listen to you talk, but keep pushing or me. what? Can't take a joke, have some humor. Back up. Or what? We had to make you stay home with us. My baby tired from all that work you've been doing. Dad, we probably got a little bit of energy left. So I should be at work. Uh, you deserve to get some rest. I'm preparing for you all, all day long. Well, we can do something else more exciting. No. It's not. It ain't the corona, is it? What? That's not even fucking funny. Okay. So what should we do to pass time? I already told you what we could do to pass the time. Besides that. How about we talk about some real shit? Okay. Can I start off? Sure. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. Yeah, whatever, talk to me. <laughs> well, I thought I can tell you both what I like and don't like about you. If y'all don't mind. I'm the sick one. Y'all gotta let me do this. I mean, if you want to vent, go ahead. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> well. Ty. I like that you're artistic. I think we bond well. I love our chemistry. But I think you make jokes at the most inappropriate time. And more than half of those times, it's not funny. I'm funny. <laughs> yeah. Listen to us. <laughs> as long as you think so. Okay. <laughs> and then you also can be kind of harsh. Yeah. Hey. And Rob, you know, we go way back. Like, almost everything about you. <laughs> almost. Mm. But I also don't feel like you being honest about how you feel about this relationship. With the whole three way thing going on. I don't like nothing about that. Well, if I'm being honest, of course. You know, I didn't like it at first. And you know this. But now, it's pretty cool. Is that true? Yes, honestly. You know, I don't do anything I don't want to do. Okay. I love you. I love you more. So let's switch this around. You want to hear what we don't like about you? Yeah. <laughs> About that, I'm gonna pass on that one. Mm. You know, I'm getting a little tired. I bet. Are you serious? <laughs> this one, I'm sick. Stop mm. it. Let me take care of you. <laughs> That's wild that we here right now. <laughs> it's crazy as hell over here. I definitely don't regret it. You know, I don't either. I mean, to be honest with you, I wish I could have it to myself, but, you know, Derek. I, mean, I think that's something that we both want, but, hey, I'm comfortable with y'all. Yeah, same here. And I'm horny as hell. And yeah, me too.
What's up? Let's check out. Dark sleep. I don't like care about him being asleep. We got needs too. No, no, he's sleep. What's that fucking plan with me? <laughs> 